All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to a new video on East Coast Mongus. So today we're gonna be checking out Barnes and Nobles. I'm also starving, so um, I'm gonna shoot over to the mall and grab some food after this. Probably we'll hit up Newberry Comics just to see what they have, um, but I might pick up a volume or two here. Really, I just wanna make this content to show you guys uh, what they have and kind of do a voiceover, talking to you guys about what I think of the inventory, some new stuff that has maybe dropped or maybe some uh, early releases. But yeah, no, a lot of people on YouTube like Barnes and Nobles videos, those are, like some of my most viewed videos. So uh, yeah, we're gonna go check it out and I will see you guys in a little bit. All right, so that Barnes and Noble, which has always had manga like forever, pulled all their manga, all, all like their, their, yeah, all their physical manga, all their manga out of the store. They're not selling manga anymore, which is kind of insane to me. I don't understand why you would make that decision as a business unless they were like, unless they're planning to close shop over here, which, also, I don't think it really makes sense because they're right next to a mall. I don't know. You guys may not even ever see this video, like this footage now, unless I can like pull something out of a hat and try to get you guys some content. All right, so we made it to the mall. I am gonna go in. I'm gonna definitely grab some food and then we'll hit Newberry Comics and then maybe this other little store, which is kind of cool. It has some little bit of manga, tiny bit of manga, but it also has some, uh, actually, hold on. It also has some like Japanese snacks and, and some, Kind of odds and ends. I forget the name of the store, but I'll probably post it. But yeah, so Newberry Comics for some manga. Hopefully their selection is pretty good. Sometimes it's small, sometimes it's not. Uh, so we're just gonna have to wait and see. But yeah, I'll see you guys inside. You know we had to get that Popeye's chicken sandwich, spicy chicken sandwich. So now we're in Newberry Comics, looking at some of the stuff. Pretty good selection. Uh, Food Wars, I still want to get into. Full Metal Alchemist, I need to get, but like, right stuff bundles. Um, surprising amount of Gantz. This is actually kind of awesome. Um, Girl on the Shore, just absolutely terrible. Golden Kamoy, uh, Grand Blue Dreaming, Goodnight Pun Pun. All the Goodnight Pun Pun, which is nice. So now coming over here, we have a bunch of Haikyuu, but they're, they're definitely dropping a box set for this. There's no way they're not dropping a box set. Uh, all of Happiness. I mean, really good, like just good numbers. There's a, there are people around me, so I'm sorry if I'm going a little fast. But there are some really good stuff. Uh, Hunter Hunter. Um, yeah, or Mia. I've heard of that, but I don't really know too much about it. Uh, I don't dream. Ikigami, underrated. Not enough volumes there. And then Inuyasha. Inuyasha? I think that's what it was. How do you pronounce it? Uh, JoJo's. Some more Junji Ito. Once again, apologize if I'm going a little fast. It's just there's a lot of people around. Uh, Vinland Saga. Berserk. Hardcovers. Vagabond. Orange. I've heard of Orange. There's a lot of volume to Orange. Their stock is pretty good at this Newberry Comics. Uh, this is the one at the mall. Jujutsu Kaisen. Lots of Jujutsu Kaisen. If I wanted to catch up, I probably would. But I also have a feeling they're going to drop a box set for this. Um, Kagu Summer is a level of... Uh, Kagu Summer... Kagu... Uh, I give up. Uh, Kakiguri. Uh, I heard of this one before. But I don't know if it's any good. And then... Let's see... Kingdom Hearts, Komi Can't Communicate, I feel like, I don't know if they're dropping a box set for that in the future, but I, I could see it, there's a lot of volumes, and I think they're just going to be dropping more box sets for a lot of series, because they know it's popular, uh, Lennon Lustrious, couldn't really get into it, uh, Zelda, Levius, Living Stone, some more Living Stone, um, Made in Abyss, not uh, too much. Master Keaton, just volume one. I only have volume one of Master Keaton. Monster. Gundam the Origin. Those are all the volumes I have. They don't have any other ones in there. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Alright, so next shelf. Now we're actually starting at the A's because there's more people around here, but it's okay. Kind of hitting two shelves at once. Um, yeah, Attack on Titan. Astro Lost in Space. Attack on Titan Omnibuses are kind of nice, actually. Banana Fish, but they didn't have my volume. Uh, I think I need volume like 16 or something like that, or 19, um, I think 16. Beast stars, yeah, sorry, going a little fast, but once again, there's a lot of people around here, so, uh, yeah, not really, I mean, blue period I could use, but Fist of the North Star, Dragon Ball, Blade of the Immortal, uh, feel free to pause if you want to see any of these, uh, Chainsaw Man, lots of Chainsaw Man, uh, Cirque de Freak I might end up getting, getting the omnibuses for, Die Dark, yeah. Uh, not too much right now. 
So we're kind of moving over. Now we have a ton of Demon Slayer. So much Demon Slayer. Uh, Dor Hidoro, but no 23 for people who needed 23. Uh, yeah. And then there was this huge wall that I didn't even know about. So then I had to go back and look at this. So as you can see, um, a bunch of manga. And you guys will see even more as we go along this wall. But I completely missed this wall. Um, this was behind me when I filmed the first section. So uh, number five, I don't know if I'm going to get into that. Uh, One Punch Man, not the volumes I need. I think I need like nine plus, uh, which there was like ten plus, but I need nine. Uh, Persona 5, still no volume one. I'd like to get volume one. I really like Persona 5, the video game, although I'm like a hundred hours in, still haven't completed it. But um, Ping Pong, Platinum End, Pluto. This was the most surprising. I'm not gonna lie. There was three volume ones. Um, really, really cool because volume one is not super easy to find. Uh, prison School, Quintessential Quintuplets, Volume 14 is actually kind of cool, I never even realized um, what the spine looks like. Let's see, a shoot ton of Rent-A-Girlfriend, honestly, uh, yeah, there's just not enough that happens. It's way too slow. Roni Kenshin, 3-in-1s, I don't know if those are any popular. I know the Vizbigs are for whatever reason, even though that series, you've been able to get it for so long. Now, all of a sudden, it's popular in the most amazing series ever. It's kind of ridiculous, in my opinion. Um, Seven Deadly Sins, Air for the End. Uh, School Frozen in Time is kind of cool, but they don't have Volume 3, which I need. And then a bunch more Seven Deadly Sins. They don't have the box yet, but they do have the Omnibus. Uh, Shaman King. Tell me why Shaman King actually looks faded. Like, I, I think they just printed it like that. Slam Dunk, they don't have Volume 19, which I need. They have every other volume around it. Yeah, as you can see, no Volume 19. Imagine not printing one volume of a series, but then printing the other volumes. Makes a whole lot of sense. Um, let's see. Yeah, nothing really. Sword Art Online, don't really know too much about it, but I've heard about it. Uh, Sweat and Soap, could get Volume 2. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> I still need to read Volume 1 to kind of figure out, but I've heard really good things from a lot of people. Uh, toilet Bound, Hana Cocoon, really cool spines. I've already said this before in one of my other shopping videos, but like really cool spines. I really like those. Um, ton of Tokyo Ghoul. I would get the Tokyo Ghoul re box set if I ever get the chance for a good price. Uh, Vagabond, eh, I don't know. You can get you can get those ones on Amazon. The other ones, there's some that are expensive, but Vinland Saga. They don't have seven or, or sorry six. Um, I need six. And then Wotokoi. Uh, yeah, and then Yu-Gi-Oh! Alright, Yu-Gi-Oh! I was kind of debating, do I get, um, and then I saw a message to Adolf, and here's kind of a, a grand view of that back shelf, so, yeah, grab some stuff. Next, we're heading over to FYE, looking at their kind of selection. They have a little, little bit of manga, I'll show you guys real quick, but really, they have some, like, snacks and stuff, um, but, I mean, nothing really impressive, but kind of cool for just to have a little bit of manga, I guess. So here's kind of some cool stuff. Uh, we have some My Hero stuff, um, kind of merch, some drinks. Uh, I think some stuff are imports from Japan. Uh, I don't think this stuff is necessarily. No, I don't think so, but you guys will see some imports from Japan later on. Uh, but still kind of cool, especially if you like these series. And here, here I think are some imports. Um, as you'll see, uh, we have a monster from Japan and some stuff, but... And then just some regular candy, I don't know. But it's kind of cool to have a little section of just random stuff in your mall. Uh, so as you can see, just a bunch of random stuff. No idea how any of this stuff tastes. I guess uh, it's a little expensive, so it's not one of those things where I'd probably just get a bunch and try them. Uh, some things are more affordable than others, but yeah, just kind of random stuff. And then some figures right at the end I almost missed. These are kind of cool but I'm not really into figures too much. All right, so we're out of the mall now. I would say that's actually a pretty good success. Newberry Comics was actually really good. I will say their selection was surprising. I was able to get a couple volumes I wanted and uh, that I was gonna buy regardless on uh, Amazon most likely. And like I said, they also had some series that I wasn't expecting to see there. Their selection was really good. It was impressive. Not that I'm not typically impressed with them, but there are some times where I'm like, eh, none of the manga series here are really like that special. I see these everywhere. Three volumes of Pluto, 
volume one was impressive. I won't lie. I actually meet, might need a swing back in there after I record this. I meant to hit up a couple people and see if they needed Pluto because I know volume one is kind of hard to get, but I think the rest of the volumes are in stock. I also don't remember if I need to replace my volume or not. My volume one, I think it was a library copy, so I might replace that and just take that or take the advantage to do that. And I think I'm also gonna hit a Barnes Noble, maybe on my way home. I'll probably record a new video because that was my goal initially. So I'll probably make a separate video on that, just a Barnes Noble video and kind of show you guys what they have there. But right now, let's get into my haul, what I picked up, just a couple volumes, but some pretty cool volumes so we went to fye which is like a little like japanese kind of anime but also i don't know, just kind of like a nerd school a nerd store i guess is the best way to describe it but it was really cool i got a japanese monster which seems to have pretty good reviews online i think it's supposed to be kind of like a rum and coke based monster no idea it sounds weird but people online say it's pretty good so i'll try it uh, I am going to throw it in the refrigerator when I get home, though, before I try it. And then next, we got Vinland Saga Volume 6. This is actually a out-of-stock volume right now uh, as of making this video, and I own uh, 1 through 5 right now, so very happy to pick this up. I am going to be re not restarting, but I've only read Volume 1 of this series, and I really, really liked it, but I wanted to collect some more before continuing. So I think 6 volumes is probably enough to be able to... Uh, kind of binge read but i mean just really really happy to have found that and that was also like on the display shelf you guys might not even see that in the video but um next i got berserk volume 39 this is actually the last volume i needed i do have every other volume so this is now complete super super happy to have picked this up because i was going to grab this on amazon anyways uh for the same price 15 uh it is a skinnier volume which is kind of whack but it is what it is uh and now i am fully up to date and i think we're waiting on the last volume to release last i picked up uh mashal i believe it's pronounced uh magic and muscles kind of a very interesting manga i've heard really good things about especially for the kind of character Harry Potter aspects like a lot of people say it's kind of not a ripoff of Harry Potter because it's doing it in like a funny way but apparently has a lot of Harry Potter uh, similarities and in like good ways so uh, yeah super excited to read this I actually meant to pick this up a while ago but uh, yeah I got one volume and if I like it I will pick up some more so that's gonna be it for this video just kind of shopping around the mall a little bit I want to keep it relatively short I don't know how long this video is gonna be but I know if I add another store it'll be even longer so uh, part two will be at Barnes and Nobles, an actual Barnes and Nobles, and hopefully a good one. I guess we'll have to wait and see. But uh, yeah, if you guys want to see part two, leave it down in the comments and I will make sure to upload it as soon as I can. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will talk to you guys later. Peace out.